In this video, I will show you how to copy protect PDF files. Protected PDF files are locked to individual devices, requiring the user to download a secure viewer and activate a license before being able to view it. As the license can only be registered on a set number of PCs, which you decide, and PDFs cannot be decrypted without a secret key, which the user cannot access, there is no other way PDFs can be viewed by unauthorized users. Individual customers, individual documents, or complete publications can be suspended at any time should you need to instantly revoke access. Access can also be revoked automatically after a number of views and or prints. From the moment a document is published using Safeguard PDF security, it cannot be edited in any way, screen grabbed, printed, or copied and pasted. All of these controls are enabled by default. We will now cover some of the main security features available when protecting documents. First, open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Document Access tab, you can choose whether the document can be viewed by all authorized customers, selected individual customers, or customers belonging to a set publication. In the Expiry and Validity tab, optionally, your PDFs can be set to expire on a set date or on a number of days from first use. In the Printing and Viewing tab, here you can allow printing if you wish, and you can also limit the number of views and also log document views. This will provide details of how your documents are used and by whom. In the View and Print Watermarks tabs, here you can add permanent and dynamic watermarks to viewed and printed pages. Dynamic variables like date and time, username, company name, email address, are replaced with actual user and system data when the PDF content is displayed and or printed. You only have to protect a PDF once in order to customize it for multiple users. Adding dynamic watermark can also help deter photos being taken of PDF content. Once added, watermarks cannot be edited in any way or removed. And in the Environment Controls tab, as well as preventing screen capture, you can also add a screen mask to stop users typing text displayed in the protected PDF into another window. Once you're happy with your choice of controls, click Publish. Your document will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. Click OK. The newly protected document now has a PDC extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with a locklisted secure PDF viewer. For users to open DRM protected PDF files, you first have to create their user accounts on the Safeguard Administration System. See the following videos on our YouTube channel. How to add a user to the Safeguard Admin System and how to open a protected PDF file. These cover how to add users so they can view your DRM protected PDF files and how those users open them. As an authorized user, if I double click to open the document, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As you can see, there are no passwords for users to enter when opening the PDF and permissions cannot be removed from the PDF document and are permanently enforced by the viewer. The first security feature to notice is the watermark now displayed across the page containing the user's name, company, email, and date and time the document was opened. There are no editing controls available in the viewer, so users cannot edit the text of the document in any way. Despite copying and editing being disabled, users can still add annotations such as notes and markups. Note the print icon is greyed out, showing printing is disabled in this case. And that includes all uses of print screen, 
control P, and any other form of taking prints. If users try to take a screenshot of the document, it is totally blacked out. When you are finished, close the viewer, close Windows Explorer.